So I've just had a shower, so I'm just feeling like so flipping fresh. I went to the gym this morning. Like I've started off today right. Like and I'm excited to just get this like transformation going. So usually if I'm going all out for like a full like catfish, full blown transformation kind of thing, I will wear eye contacts just to kind of change up my look, you know, jazz things up. So I'm going to apply the contacts that I wore in my green eyed makeup tutorial which I'll leave linked up above in the cards for you guys and also in the description bar down below but just like I could use blue I do have blue eye contacts but I do like the green ones they're the most natural looking ones that I have so I'm going to quickly apply those and I'll be right back so I've got my contacts in that was like the quickest I've ever applied contacts in my life like literally to, like one minute it was like boop boop straight in and it just looks so good it just looks so good so I'm going to do the eyes first, just so I can like get the initial like shape and you know the whole shebang going and if there's any fallout it'll just fall onto my face and I can wipe it off as opposed to it falling on my foundation. But what I will do is like just apply a bit of like a priming moisturizer to my skin just to really plump it up. So I'm going to take my Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer, it's great for sensitive skin like mine. And I usually just apply it to the perimeters of my the perimeters of my face just because I do get quite oily in the t-zone so I prefer to just keep all the moisturizing dewy products to the outer skirts of my skin and oh my gosh it just feels so good I'm not gonna lie I feel so bougie with like my nail polish on now I like never have nail polish on I'm just like so lazy to actually do my nails or even just get them done that I'm just like no, nah, that's fine. I'll just wear the old natural bit today. I just feel so bougie. <laughs> so I'm thinking of just doing like uh, my eyes but better kind of look. Like nothing too dramatic. I'm saying that now but let's be real. Like if I'm ever going to catfish it's when I'm being dramatic. So we'll see how we go. I haven't really got an idea planned. I just know I want like a cut crease. And that's it. <laughs> I'm just going to begin off with my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm just going to apply like a thin layer to the lids of my eyes and drag it up to the brow bone to just cover that whole area get a nice matte like clean canvas to work with so next I'm going to grab a pretty pigmented colour I feel like I'm going to start off strong strong with this eyeshadow game today so I'm just going to go all out and grab the shade Hunts from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette such a gorgeous like burnt orange shade and I'm just applying that with a petite crease brush just on my outer V area so just dragging it through the outer portion of the eye we will blend it out in a second I'm just initially just packing on that shade and mm, isn't she just delicious like mm. oh guys don't you just love it when you just like freshly like just shaved your whole body like I was in the shower I just did all my wham bam everything turkey and ham you know and I was like full just I came out I moisturized I was just like life is good again life is so good I even like um like because I do shave my face as well just to get any of the baby like peach fuzz off my face just because the makeup sits so much better on my skin if it's like as a clean canvas for it I mean I've done this for like a couple of years now I think yeah at least a year and a half and I just see such a difference and also like it gets rid of all the dead skin on my face as well so it kind of exfoliates it which I just find helps with my skin type especially because I am like acne prone so I just think like cleansing it and getting the exfoliation going just helps so much and so now I've just got a baby butt like smooth face it's just life is good and I look good I'm going to grab the shade just below the Hunts shade called Jax and with a pencil brush I'm just going to pack that on to my outer corner and then taking whatever's left on that pencil brush not the pencil brush sorry the petite crease brush and just softening those edges of jacks it's gonna be like a blown out sl slightly blown out eye today um i think with my eye shape especially like an almond shape eye just really 
is so flattering so if I'm ever like trying to just like enhance my features I'll go for a more almond shape rather than a rounded eye it's up to you guys what you prefer so next I'm just going to take some of the made for each other shade and the silk cream as well on my fluffy 221 soft crease brush from Zueva and just kind of like softly buff out the edges to start getting that like blend going so it's not so harsh at the moment with those colours. You know what, I might even add some of Creamsicle, that like kind of like light orange shade just to kind of give it something for that Hunts to blend into and I want a bit more warmth back in it. Back in with Hunts on that petite brush, the petite crease, just lightly like a smidgen. And that'll do it, I think. That'll do, Duncan. That'll do. So, to cover out my lid, I'm just going to take some of that paint pot from MAC again and just like quickly whiz through, do like a half cut crease. Really just carve out the eye. And I'm going to also bring it slightly above my natural crease to give the illusion that I actually have bigger eyes than what I actually do. So, I've got work later on today, and I literally wish I could just turn up like. <laughs> full face, full glammed up, just like bougie as full. So you guys let me know what videos you want to see next, whether it be a tutorial, a challenge, uh, a product review, like let your girl know. I'd love to have a bit of inspo for my next few videos. So a lot of people like to do the whole like put some product here, look up and then get them mapped out. Um, shape of their crease. I prefer to just go from the inner corner and just take it slightly above my natural crease. I just think that works best for me. Like I have tried the whole blinking one but like I don't know it just doesn't work as well for me. I feel like it just I don't get them even. Whereas this way I can compare and just build the shape up, drag it up higher if need be. And I just blend the outer edge with my finger to diffuse any harsh lines that fades into the into the red. So for the lid colour is like what I've been dreading because I just don't know what I know I'm gonna put a shimmer on there. I just don't know what kind of colour. Like do I wanna go in with shimmer shimmer? Do I wanna take and light from the Jaclyn Hill palette? Do I wanna go in with another single eyeshadow that's like more orange tone that I haven't used in a while? Like, I just don't know what direction I want to take this eye look. It's a little bit stumped at the moment. I have so many ideas flooding through my mind. I don't want to use too much colour, that's the thing. Like, usually I'll go with colour, but I want to keep it more wearable and natural, I guess you could say. Like, natural. Really how natural is this look? Not a lot. I think I might go in with actually the shade Beam from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Just that second shade across and just applying that to my eye. And this is just a precise shader brush from Zoeva. I like it to get really up close and personal on that cut crease. And I'm just going to take the shade Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill palette just on that petite crease brush. Um, to blend that shimmer shade into the red, bringing a little bit of Jacks back, just a little bit, just tapering beam into that brown shade, just lightly. So for my winged light today, I'm going to go pretty dramatic. I mean, we're going to do some hella dramatic lashes with this look, which I'm excited about. So I'm just going to do a pretty extravagant wing, making sure to follow the natural shape of my eye to a to, to a point like we are trying to cheat it a little bit bring that eye more elongated so I am going to just kind of follow the angle towards the tail of my brow and I'm initially taking my um, Hayley Baldwin for Model Co liquid liner and just kind of mapping out the shape of my eye I'm just going to take this um, colour from my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Topaz Twinkle and I'm going to fill in my wings. We'll see how it goes. If I don't like it, we'll change it. I 
It's like super bougie. I'm not gonna lie, it's so bougie. actually love how that's turned out at the moment but that's just how I'm going to leave it. I think that's enough for the eyes at the moment. Um, of course I'll do like an inner corner and brow bone highlight but I'll do that a little bit later. So I'm just going to quickly apply some mascara and lashes to really get these eyes going. So I'm going to apply my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline and the lashes I'm going to take today are the ones from Attitude in the style Sultry. So, for the skin, I think I might go in with my matte primer from, what's the brand called again? 100% Pure, that's where it's from. So I'm going to grab the mattifying primer full of antioxidants and vitamins. I just find it's really good for my skin. It doesn't break me out. Like I said, I have troubled skin. This one won't break me out. And it's like a nice healthy base to apply on underneath the foundation so I just prefer to use something that's going to help protect my skin at least a little bit against the harsh chemicals and things in the foundation I do have a natural foundation but we're not going to use that one today I want something full coverage for this like transformation-y catfishy look you know what I mean I want no imperfections showing through for foundation I'm going to take two today just because I really want a nice full coverage from the matte and poreless one and it will keep me matte but I need it to be a little bit darker um, with my 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect foundation from Milani I mean I mean I think it should be oh no it's too light <laughs> yeah it'll be too light to me I mean I can always darken it up but I also think this will give me a bit more coverage too I used to love this one when I had really bad acne as well because it just covered everything it was so good and I just spritzed my sponge with a bit of Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to dampen it and also it's going to help the makeup last longer by having that setting spray kind of applied on with the foundation. So I'm just pressing it into the skin. You guys know the drill with a beauty sponge. Make sure not to swipe it otherwise you'll take away the coverage. So next I'm going to apply concealer. I don't think I'll do any cream like blush or bronzer today. I think I might keep more on the powder side. So yeah, that's why I'm going in with concealer first. So we're going to go in with my, of course, Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen. You know the drill. I'm just going to place it um, under the eyes, center of the face, under the cheekbones to chisel them out, you know, the huge. And I'm just going to buff this in with my F86 Kabuki from Sigma and kind of chisel out my wings a bit. Like clean up any eyeshadow that might be underneath. And just bring that highlight in a triangle down the center of my face. Just to bring light to the areas that I want to highlight as well as conceal. Okay, so next I'm going to powder my face. I'm going to go in with, I think the, um, what's it called? This is what I was trying to think of. The Highlight and Contour Palette from uh, NYX. I'm actually going to take this yellow shade right here. I'm just going to go in with a damp beauty sponge and kind of bake, but not bake it into the skin, if that makes sense. So I'm just chiseling out my nose and I'm also bringing it up the side of my temple to lift the face and give a subtle highlight there. Gotta love that powder beard. Oh, so sexy. I always bring it to the corner of my mouth but I like it to be most pigmented here and just like taper in. And I think before I do my brows I'm just going to finish off like bronzing giving colour to the skin. So I'm going to take these two brown shades here from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and just start warming up the complexion. Well, nearly, I think I went a little bit too ham on the bronzer. So I have done an in-depth um, contour and highlight video, which I'll leave linked down below as well. So I'm just going to kind of rush through this, just so the video is not too long. Dawn, son. 
Oh, this palette just smells amazing. It smells so good. So I'm going to take the Meiji Blush shade from the Aspen Over Tarte Collaboration Palette. Just kind of place that on the uh, contours of the cheeks. And then if I feel like I went a bit too ham on anything, I'll just go back in with my beauty sponge to blend it in. So I'm just going to quickly do my brows before finishing off like the rest of the eyes and the face and everything. I will do a more in-depth brow tutorial. Um, I will show you guys just a little bit of like, you know, my brow filling in. I'm very blessed in the sense that when I'm catfishing, I'm not really catfishing much of my brows. I'm very lucky to have quite a full brow. Um, I'm very grateful for it. So I don't do too much to them in the sense of like changing the shape or anything. I'm just going to grab the soft brown shade from Maybelline. Um, as I was saying, I think, I can't really remember what I was saying. So I just lightly feather the f like front part of my brow. I'm very conscious never to give myself like a sharpie brow. If I can help it, like I'd rather it look more natural, like it they're actually, you know, just fuller. I'm just taking dark brown now for the rest of the brow. I'm more just giving life where it's, where it's needed rather than changing any of the shape. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to do an updated brow routine soon so yeah, keep an eye out for that one and because I'm feeling extra today I mean this is a more dramatic look I'm going to carve out my brows don't usually do this on it every day but for this type of look I will so I'm going to go and take my brow this way brow sculpting gel from Rimmel and just apply this to the hairs, <clears throat> feathering it through. And this one is in the shade Dark Brown. I just feel life is complete again now my brows are on. Like, let's go, let's go. So to give like highlight to the face, so I'm going to first of all grab this medium shade from the Violet Boss palette. And I'm just kind of whacking that on the high points. I'm also kind of applying it over my bronzer to give myself more of a glowy effect and for like a more intense highlight I'm going to change it up and use the Aspen Ovard highlighter from the palette called Pure Soul. I just feel like layering on the highlights makes it look more like natural and plus it just gives it more of an intense effect which is what you want. I'm going to apply that Pure Soul shade to my inner corners as well. And just a smidgen to my brow bone too, just the highest point, just there. And I'll go and pop some on my cupid's bow as well. And I'm just going to quickly spritz my face with some Urban Decay or Nitre just to lock all of those powders in to make sure it lasts all day. So for my bottom waterline, I'm going to just place on a nude eye curl. This one is again my usual. It's from Models Prefer. Freaking love it. So I keep using it. It's just, it's just so pigmented and creamy. I think because the top half of the eye is so heavy, I don't want to make the bottom super heavy as well. So I will take a bit of Jackson Hunts together on a pencil brush and kind of wiggle that closely against my lash line on the bottom like out of corner area and just kind of taper it in and I'm just going in with a bit of creamsicle on this Real Techniques buffer brush and just kind of softly smoking it out not dragging it down too far otherwise it'll look too smoky underneath the eye I want it to be quite soft I'm just grabbing like a touch of beam just on this area there right near the tear duct. The final step is some bottom lash mascara so I'm just going to quickly apply that on. So for the lips, I'm going to keep it nude, going to keep it glossy, going to overdraw them of course. So I'm going to take a lip colour, like a lip liner that's close to my natural lip colour. 
This one is in the shade 049 Natural from Rimmel. It's my usual, of course. Now the trick with overlining your lips is not to like go crazy. I tend to keep my bottom lip pretty natural, like pretty true to its shape. If I were to make it a bit bigger, I do it ten. Like I tend to do it in this area, just coming round. Otherwise, I keep it pretty. Oh, otherwise I keep it pretty true to its shape. And then with my top lip. I really just overdraw the cupid's bow and try to keep it natural to the outer skirts of my lip. Just I found if I do overdraw it there, it can tend to look like I have clown lips. Just be mindful. Of course everyone's lips are different. So just see what works for you. And I'm just filling them in as well. And I think I might go in with a bit of commando today. A nice brownie nude from Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm just going to go in with a highlight over the cupid's bow and bottom lip, like the center area, to really bring light and attention, to really bring those lips to make them look really full, like bring them forward. So I'm going to get, take the Moonbeam shade, which is the lightest shade. I just use my finger to apply it. Now I did say I was going to go in with the gloss. I'm having second thoughts. I'm thinking I might keep it matte, especially if you're going out. When I go out, I don't put a gloss on. I keep it. I usually keep it matte just because if I'm drinking or eating, I don't want it to transfer. Plus, if I use a gloss, it's going to bring attention to my natural lip shape, and it can be obviously you've overdrawn it. So keep that in mind as well when you are overdrawing your lips. A matte is probably best, or a satin, not a gloss. So I think I might leave it like this today. So I'm just going to quickly go and do my hair and chuck my outfit on, and I'll be right back. So this completes the finished makeup look, guys. I really hope you enjoy it. I just added some of these cute little, like, dangly, pearly earrings from La Visa. And just added this play suit from Hello Molly. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so, so, so much. And I really hope you enjoyed this transformation catfishing, catfishing makeup look. I had a lot of fun doing it with you guys. And yeah. Oh, and before I forget, make sure to give this bit thing blah, 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 blah. blah. Before I forget, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my YouTube fam. I'd love to see you guys in my next video. It would make my day, my week, my year. It would be so great to see you guys join my family. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.